Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about rally games for the GBA. GT Advanced Championship Racing is a fantastic game, but the US version has one major flaw. It has password saves, unlike the Japanese version that has battery saves. It's very inconvenient to type the passwords in this game since it's a string of 16 digits containing upper and lower case letters, numbers and symbols. And you have to input a lot of these passwords if you want to retrieve what you previously have won in the game. And only this is reason enough to not play the game, it's annoying. But fortunately if you play the game on an emulator you can fix this. The game itself is fantastic. You get 48 licensed cars from various manufacturers and you can add performance parts to your vehicles to make them handle better. The game's championship mode has 4 different classes, each of which has 8 different racetracks, which means that there's a total of 32 racetracks in GT Advance. And the tracks are varied, you get circuit, highway, city, winding and dirt. The controls are really great and the game is amazing. If it wasn't for the annoying 16 digit password system. GT Advanced 2 Rally Racing fixes the annoying password save system by having a battery save option. But now there's another catch. The game has only 15 cars. Compared to the previous game that had 48, it's a big difference. But at least the gameplay remained unchanged in quality. You can still find your new vehicles. And it's an important part to adapt to each race, for example each terrain has a specific set of tires it's most efficient in. If you don't put the correct tires on your car, you won't hit the maximum potential of that car. Which is nice, it's, it's nice to see that you have this simulation type options in a GBA game. Calling McCree Rally 2.0 has some impressive gameplay. You know how tough dirt games can be, well this one falls into that category. The developers put a lot of thought in how the cars react to the terrain. Not all surfaces are the same, the car handles different depending on the road. Your tires when they go on gravel, asphalt, mud, water or snow don't react in the same way and that's what will attract many people into the game. It's easy to pick up but difficult to master. The only shortcoming of the game is that you get only 5 cars, which you can't upgrade like in GT Advance, the cars remain the same most of the part, and the other shortcoming is that you get only 6 tracks. The game is still incredible, having unique gameplay that is engaging and 3D graphics that are hard to pull off on a GBA. And GT Advance 3 Pro Concept Racing did it. It took what was best in both GT Advance games, combined it and enhanced it into the best rally and racing game on the GBA. This game has 97 licensed cars, 97 and 40 tracks and each car has custom parts and some parts even change the appearance of the car. For the most part you get performance upgrades like in the other games. You can tune the engine, muffler, suspension, limited slip differential, air filter, seats, CPU and weight reduction. A new feature of GT Advance 3 is its license test. Before you begin a set of races in the championship mode you have to successfully complete 3 test situations in order to qualify for the particular racing class. Which makes the game feel more like Gran Turismo than the first two games did. And another addition is a new race type. Now aside of championship, time attack, quick race and practice, you get the drift combo mode. And it does what the name says. The new controls in the game are more slippery which lets you get into drifts more easily and after you complete the game you unlock the kart racing game mode. If you're looking for the ultimate racing simulation game on the GBA, Search no more. This game offers you a huge amount of high quality content that will keep you excited for a long time. Sega Rally Championship is a great game, but it gets nowhere near the games presented until now. The controls are clunky and don't feel as great, the racetrack looks censored, and you get only 8 cars in the game. 
At least Colin McCree had an excuse for having only 5 cars, it was 3D. But here... Overall the game is great, I mean it's fun to play. But in comparison to the other games I presented in this video, the game pales. Toka World Touring Cars is great. It has 11 tracks and 18 vehicles, the controls are arcadey and as for game modes you get the usual quick play, free race, time trial and championship. You can tune your vehicle like in GT Advance, but still, the game is great. Also it's nice to see that the car handles different depending on the terrain you run. Oh and this game too is easy to pick up but hard to master, even if it has an arcade feel to it. Top Gear Rally is a straight up 3D rally racer. The game is easy to pick up and it isn't as hard to master as Colin McCree. Also it has some more content than Colin McCree. It has 10 tracks, some generic looking cars and a very basic tuning menu. Also when you're on the road you can spot that the handling isn't as deep as in Colin McCree. It's more basic, it doesn't focus on being a simulation, it focuses on being a racing game accessible to a larger audience. And it succeeds. V-Rally 3 is a beast. This little monster here feels like a plug-bound console game. And that's very impressive for a handheld GBA game. The graphics are 3D and look amazing for a GBA game. But the most impressive part of the game are the driving physics. Each car has different stats and those stats are easily noticeable when driving. Cars have mass and horsepower and that can be easily seen when you go uphill for example, because the incline has an effect on the car. And when drifting you can feel the weight of the car. Sure you have to judge things from the perspective of a GBA game, the physics aren't as good as in modern titles. But still. Seeing little details like this on a GBA game is impressive. The difference is subtle, but it's impressive nonetheless. The cars even take damage. You can also modify your vehicles, modifications can be made to the car's tires, suspensions, brakes, gearbox and steering. The game isn't perfect from normal game standards, but for a handheld title this game is a beast, it's a masterpiece. Also, if I praised GT Advance 3 to be the ultimate GBA experience for racing simulation on the GBA, this game is the most fun and the best looking rally game on the GBA for casual players. If you want more of a casual experience and not to get angry that you spend too much time upgrading your car or learning how to take a curb, this game will provide hours of fun from the get go. It's easy to pick up and remains like this. It makes you feel epic without needing to master the game's controls. And that is awesome. Carnage Racing is pretty enjoyable. Once you get used to the controls, which aren't that hard to master, the game is great. It has 12 vehicles and 18 tracks that are beautiful and filled with little details that make the game awesome and during the races you can pick up rockets and mines and throw them at the opponents. To progress in the career's 40 races you will have to upgrade your vehicle and you do that with money you earn from races. Overall the game is great. Ok so this was the video, if you liked it please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.